Okay guys, this is where we can make progress. This video alone is complaint video. Get a hold of the company and start complaining. Start complaining to the government and say what's going on with the crappy workmanship. This is a two year, even maybe less old road. Somewhere around two years old. Look at how scuffed it up it is. Look at the tar is still here. That scuffing goes all the way, just so you know it's weak or something scuffing. Take it for however you want. But then you get, you see these different dark spots? Where some of them are rocks being pulled out or um, the road is just completely failing. Look at how bleached in color it is. It's two years old. There's no tar left on top. The lines are cracking. Everything about it is is failing. Look at here, we're on this side of the road again. And look at how it's the sides are chipping, falling apart. This is our tax dollars. And we got to come up with a new thing. Because you may not believe this, but once the little bit of tar is gone from the top, and I'm telling you, the size of the hump here now is huge. Let me see if we can get that on camera. Nice little car there. But um, what we're trying to see is if we try oh that doesn't break. Yeah, that'll break. I know you don't like my camera in, but this is my skill. We're gonna try to see we can't get it totally with the the so I'm gonna turn it a bit like that. And so we're just trying to see if we can see the hump in that road. Because what happens is they're fi they're filing it all down. But obviously not on top of the paint yet. So the paint, when you walk there, you can feel its extraordinary hump. It is a thick paint, so it would be humping. But because these guys are leaving the asphalt under the paint and they're not peeling it off the same um, level as that stuff, just like this side, if you put a level all the way across now to the good tar there and the good tar here, that would all more or less be down in height is basically what I'm saying. So see it, understand it how you like, ask me questions, but this goes on in every country and our weather don't do it. I'm freaking living out here, you guys. And I'm living up north in the Canadian country. And I tell you, we have harsh weather in this country. And I understand how the weather supposedly is plaguing us here and then supposedly plaguing us in Alberta and supposedly plaguing us back in Ontario where they're completely different weather systems. Okay, so there's a lot going on and the subject goes into missing people, missing cats, mutilated cats, missing children. Why do you uh, ignore that? Like all the native girls and stuff that we just blame on truck drivers or some uh, psycho killer? Mm -mm. There's more to it, you guys, and it's all right to understand that there's going to be more to it or there may well be more to it. But let's get people really listening to... The under... I don't know. I don't know. You do. I come up with a lot of answers. I don't know this answer. You do. You do know what you could do. You know who you could phone or you could bug every frickin' day. Do you have grandchildren? Do you soon have grandchildren? Make Maybe great-grandchildren. Maybe great 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 grandchildren maybe there's four um you know of your family still existing think about these words dude i'm not trying to act like a you know a whiner but i'm telling you you can make a statement 
in the rest of our outcome. We're not that bad. We're not that bad in different race colors. We're one race here. We're the human race, you guys. And we have a new race issue. And it ain't anything to do with that poor soul that was murdered by a cop. That I seen the little bit of it, two seconds, and that's all I had to see to know that cop didn't stop. And I would have recognized that cop a mile away if I would.